Christmas is the perfect time to live deliciously. Why not put on cozy pajamas and decorate the Christmas tree? And also get zombie <sighs> gifts from your favorite grandmother. The final touches of my decorations. Christmas is coming, I can't wait. Cheers, with a cup of hot cocoa. Eat some chocolate cookies. Ah, that warm drink made me so relaxed. Want to lie down? By the way, where are our soft blankets? Granddaughters, where did everybody go? Oh, my zombie! Who decorated the Christmas tree like that? Cute wreaths, shiny ornaments, neat stockings? This is completely tasteless. It's outrageous! Oh, kids these days! They don't know anything about decoration. It's okay. Check out this masterclass from Zombie Grandma. Take a couple of red stockings. Pull them on paper towel tubes. Draw skulls and crossbones with a black marker. What a cute skeleton print! Now decorate the fabric with gold beads. Use hot glue. Take the stockings off the frame. Glue a spider to the elastic band to complete the design. Bright zombie stockings are the best way to decorate the fireplace. Creepy decor, my favorite! Grandma knows how to create the right atmosphere for the holidays. And now, take a wreath of artificial ivy and some ping pong balls. Color the balls with acrylic paint. Draw dark pupil and red blood vessels. Add some white glare. Make several colorful eyes. Glue the eyeballs to the wreath. Decorate with twigs and berries. And now, take off this bland, sparkly decoration and hang a normal wreath up instead. Granny approves. What do you think of this bold decoration? And for this idea, you will need a bottle and red candles. Light a candle and cover the bottleneck with melted wax. Let the red wax flow down the bottle like blood drops. White elegant candlesticks, so vulgar. Replace them immediately. This is beautiful, isn't it? Cheap and practical. Plus, it's one of a kind. Now take pantyhose and blood red slime. Cut off the tights. Roll them. Pour the slime inside. Straighten the fabric and distribute the slime over the entire length. Tie the stocking with thread to make realistic looking intestines. And hang them up instead of these plain garlands, which honestly are disgusting to look at. Now it's much better. I could watch them dripping forever. For the next decoration, get disposable gloves and wire. Make a metal skeleton of a hand and put a glove on it. Straighten the fingers. Fill it with stuffing. Instead of nails, glue pieces of plastic. Color the hand with acrylic paint. Don't forget about the manicure. Where should you hang such a beautiful decoration? I have an idea! But first, the Christmas tree needs an upgrade. That's better! Your hand, please! Beautiful! Oof! Grandma is tired, but I did so many useful things! Hmm, it 
seems like something has changed in the decor. I can see someone's signature here. Oh, that zombie grandma. The next idea uses big syringes and a carafe of blood red punch. Collect the drink with the syringes. Fill it up all the way. Well, granddaughters, will you taste my potion? It's a special zombie recipe. Okay, Grandma, just promise that it won't turn us into zombies. Of course not. <laughs> well, cheers. Yay! And now take a pineapple. Cut out a rectangle and two circles. Make eyes out of white fondant. Color the pupil with food dye. Draw blood vessels with cherry jam. Place the tongue in the cutout rectangle. Fill it with red dessert topping. Don't be shy with the blood. The scarier the pineapple looks, the better. Granddaughter, eat an eye. It's full of protein. Thank you, zombie grandma! I have never eaten anything better in my life! That's my granddaughter! A Bloody Mary smile suits you! Next, take oatmeal cookies and some fondant. Knead the fondant to make a flat piece with a dip in the center. Pour some colored condensed milk inside. Cover it. Put the fondant on the cookies. Coat the bump with jam and put a drop of syrup on top. Oh, what is this? A pimple? Pop it, pop it! My dear granddaughters, pimple cookies are a real delicacy. Eat lots of them. Look how skinny you are. Pimple cookies? That's not very appetizing. And now, take a glass vase and a stencil of hands. Cut out the limbs. Glue the stencil to the vase. Transfer the picture onto the walls using spray paint. Pour Orbeez in the vase. Fill it with colored soda. And finally, put a few LED lights in the bottom. So, granddaughters, here's your Christmas wine glass. Fill the glass all the way. This is better than any other drink ever. Hmm, does our zombie grandma even realize that it's not exactly edible? The girls want to wait for Santa to come. They are even okay with taking turns watching the fireplace. What are you kids up to? You look so sleepy. Milk and cookies are for Santa and you go to bed. Dim the lights in the living room and wait for the Christmas magic. And here is Santa. But what are these strange sounds? Brains, brains. Um, well, cookies are good too. What a surprise! Santa, are you a zombie too? What is this noise? Is there another zombie? Surprise! Santa, what did you bring in your bag for us? Let us see. This is for you. And this is for you. And this is a present for Grandma. For this idea, you will need a gift box and baby dolls. Or maybe just some pieces. Glue the doll pieces to the walls and lid of the box. Put a lot of stuffing inside and place glass Christmas ornaments in it. Pack a gift and decorate it with a ribbon. What an 
original package you have, Zombie Santa! And the decorations inside are so beautiful! It's strange they are not zombie themed too! And for the second gift, prepare a phone case, a brush, and some paints. Paint the case beige. Draw gums with yellow hot glue. Pour some red on top. Glue croutons and nuts instead of teeth. Add some glue drips. And draw small details. What a big mouth! Wow! My friends will be jealous! You can't buy a case like this at any store! Thank you, Santa! And some stylish glasses for Grandma! Cut the frame out of thin foam paper. Wrinkle them in several places. Attach the foam paper to regular glasses. Make a bloody print on the frame. Add brown and green elements. Looks like a piece of half-rotted meat. Glue some maggots made out of light clay. Done! The zombie reminds me of Lady Gaga in those new meat glasses. What do you say, Grandma? Will you go on a date with Santa after he gave you a gift like this? Grandma will think about it. Next, take a box. Lay a piece of soft fabric on the bottom. Put a gift mug on top. Add a couple of spoons of real maggots to the present. And crumbs. Close the box. I think Santa forgot a present. While the cookies are distracting him, let's open his bag. I wonder what's in the big box. Oh my goodness! What a great gift! I'm going to throw up. Um, you take it. And I'll take a very nice hoop. For this idea, take a hoop and striped pipe cleaners. Wrap the hoop in them. Leave the ends sticking out like on a crown. Attach eyes and black roses to them. Use hot glue. This is such an original accessory. Everyone look, I am the queen of zombies. Beware! Hey, why don't you care? Santa, is it time for you to go? Grandma will miss you. Santa even kisses the grandma's hand goodbye. It's a match made in heaven. I don't want to spoil the romantic moment, but we want to take a selfie to remember this. Otherwise, no one will believe what an unusual Santa visited us this year. There we go. Merry Christmas. Did you like our Christmas zombie ideas? What do you think of celebrating Christmas like this? Tell us your opinion in the comments under the video. To watch even more funny videos, subscribe to our channel, like this video, click the bell, and don't forget to share the video with your friends.